So, Samantha, are you still bleaching your mustache? So juvenile. Listen, why don't you two just give up the facade? There really is no one in the bathroom, is there? Let's just all go to the concert, okay? I really don't know what's taking them so long. I mean, they were... Sorry, we took so long, damn long underwear. Yeah. Oh, well, we really should be going. Oh, Samantha, this is Rose and Veronica. Rose is Anthony's day. So there really was someone in there. I thought they were pulling my leg. Why would they do that? Oh, well, you see, Anthony here has been in love with me for quite some time. I realize that sounds conceited, but the truth's the truth, right? And, you know, Christopher here doesn't like me very much, and so I just thought he was trying to, you know, trying to rush me out of here. He's lied before. Uh, no need to lie, Broom Hilda. Anthony and Rose are on a date, so if you don't mind, just fly off. I think I'm ready to go now. But, you know, Rose is a lesbian. Excuse me? Where did that come from? Well, that's right. Yeah, she's a lesbian. Do you have a problem with that, Samantha? No, it's obviously not me who has the problem. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I knew I hurt you, but I never knew how badly you were injured. To seek solace in the arms of someone who has no chance of loving you back. Oh, you are damaged. <laughs> I'm quite used to being involved with someone who can't love me back, okay? That's nothing new to me. Okay, but Rose isn't like that. I mean, this is only a first date and all, but I, I like her a lot. I mean, she's given me more in just a little short span of time together than you have in our entire relationship. Okay, she cares about who I am, not what I can do for her. She isn't self-centered the way you are. So what is it you're trying to say? That you're a selfish bitch. Oh, excuse me. That's Thanks. okay. Is that what you are trying to say, Anthony? That's exactly what he's trying to if say. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear it from Anthony, not from some boys to men wannabe. Rose. I'm sorry. It's just that I need someone who can give me more. Well, I suppose I can pay more attention to you, but honestly, a lesbian. We were so good together making love. How good could she possibly be? She's great. Okay. Okay, but I—I I mean, I don't know firsthand, but I mean, you can just kind of tell by the, you know, the way she. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. No, Veronica, we really need to be going. Wait a minute. No, you heard him, Morticia. Now shove on over. Hold on, okay? I really need to speak to Anthony. Privately. Just one minute, Rose. Thank you. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I was hoping maybe we could spend some time alone tonight. You see, the truth is, things with Oscar, they're not going so great. Really? Mm-hmm. I've been thinking about you lately. And, well, the truth is, I, I think that we should get back together again. You're serious? Very. So, when are you going to leave Oscar soon? Oh, I don't know. I really haven't figured that out yet. But when I do, I would hate to find you tied up with someone else. Especially a lesbian. I really don't want to getting dumped too well. So you'd rather have no attachments when you finally leave your boss. It's easier for you. For us. Look, I was planning on going to the concert later and then maybe swinging by my townhouse. Oscar's away and we can do all the things that you and your little dyke friend will never be able to do. Don't. Do you mean this? Of course I do. Look, I have plenty of whipped cream at home. Remember how you love to lick it off me? Do you... Do you have a cucumber? A cucumber? No. Why? So you can go fuck yourself, okay? Because I have a date.
No, without a doubt, that woman sitting in front of you, sexiest woman in the building. No. Mm. What about the woman selling the t-shirts? Mm. Oh, yeah, I forgot about her. Well, maybe it's Ty. No, she was flirting with you. You should have asked for a number. You think? Yes. Really? You know, they really seem to like each other. Yeah, they do. You know, maybe we should kind of disappear and give them some time alone. Well, still early. Yeah. And we could go get some espresso or something. Oh, like a date? <laughs> no, oh, not a date, Veronica. Actually, it's this waitress there that I am in love with. I figure I could take you by there. You can put a good word in for me. You know, woman to woman. Well, if she's that hot, maybe I'll pull her aside and put in a good word for me. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. So what do you want to do now? I think I'm going to split, actually. It's getting late. Yeah, I'll walk Veronica home. Great. No, wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about, Chris? Your stuff is in my car. Pick it up tomorrow. It's no big deal. Ronnie, is everything OK? I think I got a headache from the concert. I think I just need to go home and get some sleep. You sure? Yeah. I mean, we had plans to do something, but if you I know, I'm fine. Time. I'll call you tomorrow. OK? See ya. Bye. So, so, here we are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, hey, wanna go for a walk? I mean, it's a beautiful night out. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, excellent. Oh, oh, uh, my car is still parked outside the bar we met at. Oh, it's no big deal. Mine's right next to yours. We'll just pick it up later. You know, it's fine. No, no, I, I really think I should go and pick it up, bring it back to my place. I don't own the club, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, sure, I understand. I mean, I'll, I'll take a rain check on the uh, walk. Maybe I'll call you in a couple days. What are you talking about? Okay, Rose, look. I appreciate you being nice and everything, but I'm a grown man, okay? I can handle rejection regardless of what Samantha may say. Reject? You think I'm rejecting you? Oh, well, you're not? God, no. Then what's this stuff about your car? I mean, you know it's safe where it's parked. I was trying to be subtle. About? <sighs> oh, God, this is embarrassing. I figured that if you came with me to drop off my car, then it wouldn't seem so forward when I asked you in for coffee. Because we'd be at my place already. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so stupid. <sighs> okay, look. Could, could we start all over again, please? Is that possible? Okay, um... Hey. How about going for a walk? I mean, it's a beautiful night out. Yeah. That sounds great. Except that my car is still parked outside the bar. Hmm. Hmm. I have a great idea. Why don't we drive your car over to your place and walk from there? The last thing I want you worrying about tonight is your car. Sure. Let's go.